I'm convinced that some redneck guy invented the houseboat. Oh, yeah. Because you know what? He's probably doing this. You know what? I can't believe I never thought of this before. Hey, hey, if we can get this double wide to float. <laughs> this is good. All right, we're going to take you into the weekend with a few laughs. Comedian John Reef has appeared at Last Comic Standing and even at one point could have taken a career path similar to right? me and Natalie's. But you know what? It did take a turn yeah. and, and probably a good turn <laughs> that I did not take. We're talking about the comedy turn. And of course, he is on the comedy scene and will be at Side Splitters this weekend. Yes. What's going Ooh, on? What's Welcome. Happening? Tampa, come out. <laughs> I feel I, I just got back from Hawaii. So I'm extra tan. Uh, right now. This, uh. is, this is a tan me right here. No, <laughs> you just got back from actually, North Carolina. I love that you're a North Carolina boy. I am. Yeah, yeah, North Ca Hickory, North Carolina. <laughs> That's how we say Hickory. Yeah, you have to shake your head. That, that, I don't know. That means you're proud, I guess. People do that. I'm from Hickory. You think you're better than me? And they just they turn into bobbleheads for no That's reason. A good line. And it's always side to side. But if you're ashamed, you kind of go up and down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're wearing the Hickory hat though, so yeah, you're not ashamed. Yeah. That's it right there. My Hickory trucker hat. Tell us about your background though, because it is fascinating. We, well, we hinted at you could have been like TV hosts like us. Yeah. Maybe, or... Well, it's fun. I started. I, I grew up in Hickory, yeah. North Carolina, born and raised. Hickory was kind of famous. It used to be the furniture capital of the mm -hmm. world, <laughs> home to Winston Cup champion Dale Jarrett and mm. the pig from Green. Acres was from <laughs> okay. Hickory. And then I moved to Raleigh to go to NC State University. Uh -huh. Wolfpack? And, uh, yeah, Wolfpack, baby. Uh -huh. That's where Barney Fife used to go to party. Okay. Yeah, get him a corner room at the Y. <laughs> and he was going to live it up on the weekends. He'd go to Raleigh, see. But yeah, that I went to school there and I started doing uh, theater. And mm -hmm. uh, I was a theater major just because I couldn't really do anything else. And I was also a mass communication major. Uh -huh. And I got an internship at a TV station. Yeah. So I used to do what a lot of these guys back here are doing, like this guy. Do you guy. miss it? I, I, I can do, do you need your a job? second job? I know. We could probably hire you on. I told them earlier, if you need a white balance, I could take my shirt off. <laughs> it's pure white under here. But yeah, no, I, uh, not really. No, I like being in front. It's more yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah it's more fun. But I, I got lucky because I was doing stand-up on the weekends uh -huh. as a college student and working this job. And I had access to great equipment. Like I had, you know, I got three guys to come in and shoot me doing stand up for 30 minutes, three cameras, two channels of audio, and it looked like a real TV tape. And I yeah. went and played with the, you know, I put graphics on it. And before I know it, I had work booked all over the country. Wow, and, and then on Last Comic Standing. Last Comic Standing, <laughs> yes. I won that 2007, season five, so for one year, I was able to tell people I am the best comedian <laughs> in the world. Hey, that's more than what a lot of other people can say. <laughs> well, it's just funny that it's a contest yeah. to me. It's comedy so subjective. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, that it so is. So I like to say that, hey, it's not my fault Seinfeld and Chris Rock did not enter the contest. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's on them. Exactly. Yeah. You hey, I want to hear about uh, your appearance on Jane the Virgin. That's like one of my yeah. all-time favorite she, she shows. Was quite excited. Man, my Please acting career is all over the map, right? Yeah. Like I've done Dodge Hemi commercials. I was on East Bound and Down on HBO. I was in the film Harold and Kumar Escape Guantanamo Bay. I've I've been on Disney, Good Luck Charlie, <laughs> uh, and Jane the Virgin. Yeah. Jane the Virgin, which it wasn't a show that I ever watched. You need to. It's so good. I watched one episode. I know the uh, one I you were in. <laughs> I played an exterminator. <laughs> yeah, they needed some uh, rednecky guy. I don't know why they called me. I know. Me, I wonder why they called uh, you. To come in and pretend to be an exterminator. And I think I got the part because the whole time, I mean, it wasn't a huge part. It was just I had one scene, you know. Um, so I was in my trailer memorizing my lines all day. And I thought, you know, if I'm an exterminator, maybe I'm itching a bunch. So, like, the whole time I'm doing my scene, I'm like... <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I think we can get you done. Did they know that was part of the character, or do no, you think they actually point, questioned We did it like liar. three times, and at, at, after the third time, the director goes, Okay, John, that's great. We got the itching stuff. You can uh, <laughs> back it down 50%. Oh, I go, okay, just cool. 50, though. Yeah, just they didn't 50. tell you to totally They, they back left off. the itch in there. You've seen it. They left the itch. <laughs> they good. left the itch. Okay, so what's next? Let's look yeah. forward now. Well, uh, right now, I've got a couple things that are out. Well, I'm in Tampa, side yeah, There you go. Come see me. I'm going to make the rafter shake and your biscuits bake. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> rafter shake. <laughs> And your biscuits yeah. bake. I have a new comedy album out right now. Anywhere you listen to music, you can get my comedy album. It's called Ginger Pain. It's the pain. It's like Prince's Purple Rain, but it's Ginger, ginger Pain. pain. Yeah, I'm well, you own that you're a ginger. And yeah. You call yourself a unicorn. I, I, well, I am. A blue-eyed ginger is 0.1% of the yeah. world's population. Unicorn. I'm the biggest minority there is. Yep. 
That's right. <laughs> you don't get more minority than this. I'm half unicorn, half vampire, to be honest with you. You better drop a net right now, because any minute I could reach in my pocket, pull out my glitter, and be, be out of here. Oh, I like that. Well, you know, it's a perfect way to end the show. We're actually at our time. I love show. glitter. No. Love glitter. Well, you know what? There's the information, so you can have some laughs right along with John's Side Splitters Comedy Club. There you have it. Thank you. Thank you. This is